first up, what you want to do, you want to go to Illustrator and just start a new document. And we're going to be creating a letterhead. So usually it's an A4 paper. And corporate clients usually print on A4 when they're you know, sending it out in a mail or to their clients. So just do A4. Click on that. And then we can just rename it. Letterhead. And then you leave it on CMYK because we're going to print it off later. And you want to make sure the orientation is not landscape but portrait. And that will be sweet. Press create. So sweet, now we've got our document here and now we're going to start building it out. So you can add guides if you want. Press Control Command R and you'll get your rulers up on the side seat and you can just drag them across if you want to make some guides to adhere here but we're just going to leave it like that and I'm just going to start building up. So usually I try and stick with you know one or two colors and just use gray and black and white um, when I'm doing this so it's good to also keep in mind that you want to use the type tool so we're going to press T for the type tool and you can also see in Illustrator, it's a bit different. So if you click with the type tool, you can see it just clicks and it makes some type for you. And it just types on one line. But if you click T for the type tool and then you drag, it's going to make a type box, a text box, which is what you want. It makes it easier. So if you've worked in InDesign before um, or Word, then it's similar to that instead of just clicking. So you want to make sure you're doing the text boxes, which is easier to you know align it with the paragraph styles and stuff like that. And to open like the paragraph styles, you want to go window up the top and then go down. You can go to type and then you got, you know, paragraph and character and also the character styles as well. So if I click paragraph, you'll see I've got it up here. So you can do all the alignments. Um, you can indent it. You can push through the indent the first line and do spacing and also the character here. You can edit kerning, letting and all that cool stuff. So just keep that in mind when you're working with it. So usually we'll have like a logo. So I'm just going to draw a circle for that. So usually you put the logo in the corner. And then I'll press T for the type tool, just drag out a box. And then we'll just align it to this. You want to select them both, then click on the circle. So we're going to align the type to the circle and then click center it. And you'll see that it's aligned. And we're going to align this to the right. And then what I like to do is, you know, type out company name and and just the email and that type of stuff and a good font would be open sans that's a free font so we can use that it's got a lot of different styles as you can see so we'll just use that And I'm just going through changing the styles. You want to make sure, you know, that it's all consistent. And, you know, bold things that are, that you want to emphasize on and just leave so other stuff on just regular or medium. So we've got that. I'm just going to use my details. Just control Z. And I'm just going through just using it like a normal document and then with the text box you can actually drag this up and it's going to get rid of that so you can see this really little red box which means that there's more offset text so you can drag it out and it will go away you can also bring it in as well like that which is going to squish it so that's a cool thing about working with these text boxes in illustrator and I'm gonna center it again and I like using a gray so I might just select the gray tones over here in my swatches panel, they're just the default. I'll make it all gray actually. I'll keep it all, keep it awesome and bold. So that's fine for now. So he's got the letterhead starting. I'm just gonna add a into here. So we just have like a little mini logo. So I'm just going to add a J in here. And I'll just scoop that together. So we've got that. And then press T for the type tool again. And I'm going to drag out a box. And then we're going to change this to open sans once again. And then we'll put it on normal, which is regular. And then we're going to align this to the left. 
So I like lining that to our left. And then what we can do, we can go to our paragraph styles here, and you can see you can justify. And what that does, the text, it makes the text on the right align. So you can see here how the text is not aligned. But if you justify it with this button here, click that and you can see it goes all in a straight line down, which makes it even. So that's pretty cool tool to, you know, um, always use. And you can also undo the hyphenate button. See this hyphenate button here? If you don't like hyphens, because sometimes the word gets broken up here, you can turn that off if you want. And then it'll just push the word down the line. So that's pretty interesting. And... Um, I think all this Lauren Ibsen type, it's a bit too much, so I'm just going to take some of it out. So I'll just delete that. So Lauren Ibsen is just like placeholder text, and because we don't have anything to put, it'll just put that text there just for now, but you can always just get rid of it. So I'll go through usually, and I'll just put with a letterhead you want to, you know, have say hello and you want to have you know d sir actually don't that's too formal just go hey sam and then we've got that i'm going to type in kind regards jerry Mira. so we'll have that at the end so this type, you can always change and edit it, or you can just delete it and then have it like that. So then when you get, so give it to your client, they can just go in here and start typing when we export it. But I'll just leave it like that, just for presentation matters now. And we can bump, we can bump this up. Um, I'm going to press P for the pen tool, and you can see how I'm going to align it to this box. You can see the purple line. That's Smart Guide. So if you go to View, click Smart Guides there, you'll have that up. It's really handy, especially when you're doing... Um, typography and stuff so I'm gonna click once and then hold shift and click on the other side to get a shortcut for the pen tools P and then I'm gonna press shift X so on the side here you can see that it's got the fill and the stroke so if you press shift X it switches that I'm gonna bump up the stroke up the top here on the top left to two points and we're just gonna make it gray and make sure it's on the stroke I want to make sure it's the same gray as this one just to create like a boundary so it, it visually breaks up the text so you can see it's all there we can even align that if we want to make it really neat so we've got our contact details here uh, you know we've got our main introduction for the name who we're addressing and then we've got the, you know kind of regards and then you sign off your name and you can even put a signature there or you just change it to like a script type if you want to make it cool so maybe uh, you, know, you can make like a cool script type. Oh, we got if you want to make it like that. <laughs> but usually, I just like keep it simple. And then on the bottom, we're gonna just hold Alt, drag this down to our footer. So we can leave this space for all typing. So if they need to type longer, or if they have a longer letter, they can use that. And we can reiterate again, top. So I'm just copying the top. And make sure this is aligned, just holding shift there. So you can see everything's aligned and neat. And usually you can put your logo again down here if you want. And or you can lay it out like we'll just get rid of some of this. Just press backspace. And I just want to bring this out. Be careful of the boxes, make sure you just move it. So we can do this and so maybe you just want to have that you know along the center. Just pretend this is our logo. I'll just 
Let's select that box. So you can have your email or so you can put your, your details there again or because we already have it here we can actually just put like I'm sort of drag this instead of that we'll make it I think so we elevate elevate so you can put like a little like your slogan We'll drag this out. And I might copy it. Get rid of that. Make that bold. Another cool trick is that if you select all the type and go to the type at the top left corner, you can go to change case, select that and click title case. And that will change all the um, type and all the words to make the front have a capital letter of the first letter. And you can also change it to uppercase if you want, just select it, do the same thing, go uppercase if you want that. But because you want to keep the text consistent, we can leave it like that. So maybe this is our slogan and I'm going to center the paragraph there. So you can see it's on center and center it to the page. So maybe that's your slogan. And you can put other details there, but you know, just keeping it really simple. Or you can even put like, thank you for your business. But yeah, that's how you create a simple, you know, letterhead. And what I'd like to do is really file, export it. And actually we'll go file, save as. And you can actually just you go to the desktop and you can go to select the options go to PDF and then you can just save it and then you want to tick off these boxes just so you make it fast so just have those two so now you have your letterhead and to make a template out of this what we can do now is if you go to the right hand side you can click export PDF here and all you can do is convert it to a Word doc. You can also do Excel PowerPoint, but sometimes it can be a bit dodgy, but we'll just go to Word doc. Um, yeah, that's fine. And then we're gonna go convert. And what it does, it exports it. And then you're gonna go save as here. You can see that it's exported it. Go save as and then we're just gonna actually do it to the desktop, press save, just close that, and then it should be there. And now you can see we're in Word, and sometimes the fonts are gonna change, so you gotta be careful with the fonts. Make sure you use a font that can be that your client has. And with the typography as well, you wanna make sure you out, do outlines. So you can see how the logo changed there. Um, if we're in Illustrator, what you do is click on the type you want to outline, go object, and you can go expand or go to type and go to create outlines, as you can see there. So you click that, now it's just a shape, as you can see there, just to show you an example. So you can see we can go Word document and just start typing. We can get rid of it and you know, just type, hello, I'm applying for a job and type whatever you want and then as is you can just print it so that's pretty cool and yeah that's pretty much how you create a letterhead and yeah hope you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to subscribe for more content every week I've been pretty busy so I'm slacking off a bit but I try and get some content out there leave a comment you know if you want to see some um, specific type of tutorials and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon